discussing so many different vocabulary strategies to help you figure out the meaning of unknown words. As readers, that's your big challenge right now. You're reading, you come across a word that you can make the sounds of, but you don't understand the meaning of. One of the things that you can do is look for suffixes. Suffixes are that little chunk that's stuck at the end of a word. And when you know the meanings of certain suffixes, when you see them at the end of the word, that gives you a big clue what the word could mean. I wanna show you some examples. Um, oh, look, they say the same thing. Knowing some common suffixes can help you figure out the meaning of unfamiliar words. So we're gonna focus on a few this week. L-Y, slow, slowly. It means done in the way of. Um, so you're doing something in a slow way. Um, I-V-E, at the end of the word, it means related or belonging to. Just think of the word relative. Your relative is someone you relate to. They are someone that you are related to. Full means, I love this one, full of. Well, that helps you. It's a, the word, it, the suffix itself sounds like the word that it means. If you see ness at the end of the word, that means it's the state of being that way. Um, if you're filled with kindness, then you are in the state of being kind. That is something you're in that way. Able, can be done or able to be done. When you see these word chunks at the end of a word, they give you a clue to what the rest of that word could mean. So, an example, I see the word innovative on page 79 of dollars and cents. Well, there's a root word there, innovate. The suffix I-V-E changes the word into an adjective. And you're like, huh, it's related to or belonging in an innovate family? Well, let's see. M immediately set up his innovative one-for-one -one program. Tom's gives away one pair of shoes for every, bit, every pair that is purchased. Innovative, let's see, maybe I haven't heard of that very often. Maybe that means in a new way. Um, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna give you some examples today and I'm gonna use these suffixes on some words that you may not know. Use the meanings of these suffixes to help you figure out the meaning of that new word.